So I'm going to show you guys the top five do's and don'ts when involving yourself with rep sneakers. Number one, and I think this is the most important rule when you guys want to wear reps or just own reps in general, and that is do not sell them as real. If you guys are wearing reps, you should not be selling them as real, selling them to your friends, selling them to people you don't know, putting them on eBay, none of the above. The reps should either be in your closet or on your feet. Another rule, don't ever trust legit checkers. Everyone swears online that they're a legit checker. They know what to do. They know the do's and don'ts. They don't. Obviously, there's certain people that are very good at what they do, and then there's a lot of phonies just like in every business. So you want to be careful, only rock with legit checkers that you know for sure are going to get business done. If you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on sneakers and this is the route you want to go, it's okay. But make sure you're getting a good quality pair of reps. If you guys are rocking some foo-foo reps, people are going to call you out right off the spot. Quality of reps do matter because if you guys are going to wear reps, you don't want people to call you out and you don't want to have an issue. And now number four, we have confidence in wearing reps. You guys need to have confidence just like you're wearing a real pair. Because in reality, that rep pair is technically made by the same people who are making the real pair. It's just in a different factory. So when you're rocking those shoes, obviously, if someone wants to ask, yo, those are real, so you could tell them no. Don't be afraid to have some confidence and just be like, yo, these are reps. Like, I rock them. I like the shoe. That's all it is. There's not a shame to the game if you're wearing reps. Not terrible. I got a pair of rep Yeezy slides. I will be rocking these like they're brand new straight from Adidas. People ask me, yo, these reps? Yeah, they are. What about it? What else is going to occur in that conversation? Someone's going to like you less of it? Shouldn't be your friend anyways. And number five, don't be obnoxious with reps. Don't be the guy who's getting 70 Louis wallets, 55 Louis bags, Eminem Jordan 4s that are $40,000. You're obviously not rocking those shoes. Get simpler reps like, I don't know, Panda Dunks, Cement Jordan 4s, literally any Jordan 1 that isn't over two grand. What Basically what I'm saying is if you guys are going to rock reps, I wouldn't buy crazy, crazy high price sneakers because it throws a red flag immediately. And these are just my top things. If you guys do or don't want to wear reps. I know there's a very big controversy with people who wear reps and people who don't. My take on it is wear reps if you want. Just don't have issues with selling them online as real because that's where the issues occur. If someone asks you, yo, those are reps, let them know. There's no shame in the game, like I said, y'all. If you guys want to rock the reps, just rock the reps. It doesn't matter. Let me know what y'all think about reps down in the comment section. And I appreciate y'all for watching. If you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button because we're doing a giveaway at a thousand subscribers. And if you are not coming from my TikTok, well, you should definitely go hit my TikTok at Fashion Jafer right here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.